In this video, I'm going to share my tech stack for selling digital products. So these are all of the tech tools that I used to sell digital products like online courses, memberships, and things like that. And I'll also pop links to these in the description below as well. So let's start off with the very first one at the base is WordPress. Most of the internet uses WordPress. It's great for SEO and it's free. So it's kind of a no brainer. Plus it's extremely customizable and flexible with plugins available to do just about anything you need to. Then on top of that, when I'm building out my website to host my courses, I use the Buddy Boss theme. I think this is the best theme out there at the moment for setting up your course portal or your course members area. Looks really, really good, highly customizable again, and provides a great experience for your customers. If you're doing what I do, and I often have my course member area on one website with Buddy Boss theme, and I have my blog and my main website on another, I like the salient theme for my main blog and website, and then for my course access members area, that's where I use Buddy Boss. For a page builder, I love Elementor. It's free, it's really quick and easy to use. There is a pro version as well, but the free version is fantastic and you can just drag and drop, create really nice looking pages from their templates in a matter of minutes. So I mainly use that when I'm creating landing pages for opt-ins and lead magnets and thank you pages, plus for sales pages as well. Now, when it comes to my learning management system, meaning the system that I use to set up my courses and host my courses and organize all of the different modules and lessons and all of that, I use a product called LearnDash. LearnDash is a WordPress plugin that works really well with the Buddy Boss theme, and it has every feature you could possibly ask for in a learning management system. It's got a drag and drop course builder. You can do quizzes, you can do certificates, you can restrict content so it drips out over time. You can restrict it so that people have to complete certain lessons and modules before they're allowed onto the next one, or you can open it up completely. You can set up course points systems to add more engagement. You can create assignments, leaderboards, forums, pretty much any feature you could possibly want when you're hosting digital courses, memberships, and digital products in general live inside LearnDash. It's got everything, plus there's add-ons for it as well. So if it doesn't have something, you can add it on. In addition to that, it's got its own checkout that integrates with Stripe and PayPal and all of those different providers. So if you don't wanna buy additional checkout software, you can actually use LearnDash as well for that. And something I really like about it is it's super flexible, meaning you can customize it to look however you want. You're not stuck with like a standard course portal or course members area. You can customize it, meaning you can customize the layout, but also the branding and the look and feel to make it really high quality and make it truly match your brand. LearnDash is about $199 a year, but if you compare that to these other platforms, like let's say Thinkific, which I think is a great product if you want something that's like really quick and easy to get set up. Um, I do like Thinkific as well, but LearnDash, I definitely prefer that. Thinkific starts at about $430 on their paid plan, I think. They've got a free plan, but even on the $430 a year paid plan with Thinkific, it just doesn't have the features that LearnDash has either. Next up is Membarium. So Membarium is what we use to manage access to everything. So it works works alongside LearnDash and inside Membarium, you can determine who has access to what. So you can get really, really granular with your access controls. And it also works tightly with your email system. So with whatever system you use to collect and manage your email list, you can simply add access by adding people to a list or adding a tag. Membarium is closely connected, so it will then automatically give them access to particular courses based on how you've got those tags and lists set up. And one of my favorite things with Membarium is you can do one-click logins. So when somebody buys one of our courses, we send them an email that says, hey, welcome, uh, here are your access details, or you can just click this link and that will log you in in one click. They don't have to enter their name and password, which I think is fantastic. The only downside is it only works with Keep, formerly Infusionsoft, or ActiveCampaign which is actually a nice transition into the next tool that I use, which is Active Campaign to manage our email lists. So I've used pretty much all of the popular email list management software out there at the moment, and Active Campaign is my favorite by far. Super powerful, super flexible. It can do everything I want now, and we've got some pretty advanced stuff set up in there, but it can do all of that and more. And the reason I like that is because I know it's going to grow with my business. Changing email providers is a big, cumbersome, difficult process, and I just don't wanna do that. As the business grows, I wanna know that I can keep all of my contacts, all of my emails inside of ActiveCampaign, and it's going to serve me now and into the future. Deliverability is great. I find it really easy to use, and it's always being upgraded and improved as well. The downside, it's not super cheap. It starts at about $9 a month for 500 subscribers, and it goes up 
pretty quickly in price. But as your email list grows to thousands of subscribers, you should be well and truly making enough revenue to hopefully cover those costs anyway. Next up is ConvertBox. So ConvertBox is what I use to collect emails on my website. So it's the pop-ups and the forms that people fill in. Uh, that is all through a tool called ConvertBox. I like it because it's quick and easy to use. I can set things up very, very quickly. It's also lightweight. It doesn't slow websites down. I don't like when I use these plugins and tools and things that drag down the speed of the website and that affects my SEO and Google rankings. So I really like ConvertBox for that. It's a one-time fee. I think it's quite expensive, like $500 one time. But the benefit is you're not locked into monthly fees then. You buy it once and that's it. For my checkout, I really like Thrivecart. You can design really nice looking checkouts. Again, it's really quick and easy. You can add order bumps, uh, upsells, downsells, all of those good things as well. It integrates with all of the major payment processes. Basically, it does everything that I need to do inside of a piece of checkout software. And it's very affordable. It's a one-time fee as well, $497 one time, compared to some of these pieces of checkout software that are $97 a month and up. So you can get some pretty big savings by using something like Thrivecart as well. And then to collect testimonials. So this is actually something new that we've added. I didn't realize I needed testimonial software until I use this and it's testimonial.to. Basically what it allows you to do is embed forms or create a separate page that allow your customers to simply click and really easily leave a text or video testimonial about your product. I think the best thing about this is you can then embed a widget from testimonial.to on your sales page. And every time you get a new testimonial, you just tick it and approve it, and it automatically gets updated on your sales page. So you just have a section on the sales page for testimonials. Every time you get a new one, you approve it, and it automatically gets added in. So you can fairly quickly build up lots and lots of testimonials on your sales pages, which then obviously dramatically increases your conversion rates. Testimonials are one of the best ways to increase sales on your digital product. So whether it's testimonial.to or something else, I think you really should be focusing on gathering more of those this year. So testimonial.to is free for up to two video testimonials and 10 text testimonials, and then it's $60 a month after that. So that's my tech stack. If you want to learn more about how to actually market and sell digital courses, make sure you check out this video next where I'll walk you through the process from start to finish. Don't forget the links for all of these products that I mentioned down in the description as well. I'll see you next time.